Welcome back to another reaction video, y'all. It's your boy Cam back at it again with another reaction video, y'all. If you're not a part of Cam fam, make sure to hit the, the, the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button because you're going up to two to one. Yeah. Today we're reacting to Pentatonix and Dollar Parton and it's Jolene. I'm really excited for this song, you guys. A lot of you guys were telling me to check this one out. I'm going to tell you this right now. I have not heard the original song of this, so if this is not original and this is like a cover of one of her songs you guys i have not listened to much of her music uh my mom has my dad has but i've never been like uh like a huge fan of her music and i think it's just maybe because i was never like i never really heard much of her music growing up i know my mom was a huge fan and she listened to it sometimes but it wasn't something that she played on the regular if that makes sense you guys especially my dad either I think it was like more of like if they were in the mood type of thing, you guys. You know, like those type of artists that you play when you're in a certain mood, right? But I know a lot of people that are huge fans of her, and I think she's a very huge talent because I've heard her sing a couple times, and I think she's absolutely amazing. Let me know how you guys feel about this one inside the comment section below. But yeah, let's hop into the video. I think it's, let me say something you guys, I honestly think it's freaking amazing that they're able, that they've gotten to a level where they've been able to do a freaking feature with Dolly Parton. She's a legend you guys, she's honestly a legend, I mean I recognize that you guys, I, I think anybody who knows music recognizes that she's a legend, even if you don't listen to her music and you don't listen to her that often, I even recognize that. And the fact that, you know, it's so crazy to me that they honestly you know, got let it, let go from Sony and they got signed to another record label and they've been doing so freaking well. I think it really just shows you that my mom always told me this, excuse me, you guys, she always told me what is for you is for you and what's going to work out for you is going to work out because a lot of things that are for you work out, right? They just find a way to work out. Like when there's a will, there's a way. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes you know, when one door closes, another one opens. And I feel like that really is a great example of that because they have been absolutely killing it. They released a new album, you guys. Please go check it out. Uh, I think they have absolutely amazing music. And I feel like they've been doing really well. Uh, but I just think it really says a lot that they're able to get a lot of features with a lot of legendary artists on their channel and they want to work with them. That says a lot, man. Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my wind. Wait, Mitch cut his hair? <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't even know that Mitch cut his hair. When did that happen? I mean, he had a beautiful hair, man. He had a nice little lush hair to hair. I mean, I, I, like, can you guys let me know inside the comment section below what made him cut off his hair? <laughs> Because I know now he grew it back. I know now he has his hair. But I feel like I just, I'm always really intrigued on why he cut his hair off, you know. But they're really killing it. I really feel like their voices actually complement the song. I also feel like, I feel like there's tons of songs that they actually could have chosen to sing that she has sang in the past. But I feel like they picked a very good one because I feel like this highlights Pentatonic's strengths. And I think this highlights her strengths, obviously. Um, you know what's crazy is the first time I ever heard of her was when my great grandma was playing her, right? And I was like, man, who is this? I was like, man, they sing really well. And then I didn't know that was her name though. That was the first time I actually heard her sing. I was like, wow, this woman is actually really good. I don't know who this is. And then I remember hearing her sing when I was a kid, when I was really young. And I was watching Hannah Montana, you guys. I remember that. And I was like, man, I don't know who this is, but they sing very well. <laughs> and so it's just crazy how things, you know, how, how you find out about people, you know, at one stage in your life and then at another stage in your life. I just think it's so freaking crazy, you guys. Let me know when the first time you actually heard our music. Let me know inside the comment section below. I feel like she has such a like a very clean way of singing like it's not 
it's not trying too hard. It's not doing too much. Even when I when I heard her when I was young, I always thought I was like, I really like this style. Like I feel like some artists they always try to do too much on songs. Like they try, try to like over sing the song. You'll never hear her do that, you guys. It's it's just enough, and it, and it and I mean it enough in a way like it's enough to where. It sounds amazing. She's on tone. It's absolutely perfect. It goes with the song. Some people over sing and I feel like that's doing too much. Some people under sing the song, right? And it's underwhelming. I feel like it's just in that happy medium, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Talks about you in his sleep. There's nothing I can do to keep from crying when he calls your name. I also wonder, are they huge fans of her? Like, I think that'd be a great question to ask them. I'm sure they probably answered it in some kind of Q&A or interview. Because I honestly wonder how big of a fan they are or, you know, how much of the music of the people that they actually bring on their channel do they actually, actually listen to. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know this is going to come to a shock to you guys. There's a lot of artists out there that don't listen to the music of people that they actually do songs with. I know that's going to sound crazy. And I know you're going to think that, you know, I'm making this up. Look, you guys, I, I feel like sometimes their record label will set them up on certain things. I'm not saying that this is the case. I'm just saying in general, there are some artists that are maybe signed to the same record label or, uh, you know, maybe like this sister company of, you know, another record label. And so they have an artist and they're trying to push that artist. And so they will have them do a song together. Right. And they're like, oh yeah, let's just do a song with them. And you know, they'll both like, you know, be successful. They'll have a successful song off of it or successful collaboration on it. And we both make money off of it. It's no big deal. But I honestly wonder if they're actually fans or of like Dolly Parton or have they listened to a lot of her music? I mean, obviously they're singing a song, but that doesn't mean you're an actual fan. I, I, I always say that, like, for me, a fan is somebody who listens to all their catalog, regardless if you enjoy the songs or not. You've listened to multiple albums. And I'm not talking about just one or two times. Like, for me, I've listened to her music, but I wouldn't call myself a fan because, like I said, have I listened to all her music? No. Have I listened to more than 20 or 30 songs? No. So I can't really call myself a fan. I... I can't say I actually listen to her music that often. Have I listened to her music sometimes? Yeah, sure, but not all the time. Not even like, you know, once a month. So I can't really call myself a fan. Do Am I familiar with her music? Yes, partly. But, you know, I feel like a lot. Sometimes people are like, oh, yeah, I'm a fan. I, I listened to this song like one time. And I'm like, I don't know, you guys. Let me know how you guys feel about it. What do you think? What, what makes you a fan of someone's music? Do you think if you listen to it all the time, one time, does it really matter? Let me know inside the comment section below. I feel like their harmony harmonizing is really freaking good. I feel like they're all doing really, really well. I love the like simple but effective actual like background that they're in, you guys. I think it's very nice. I think it really makes them actually pop. Um, I think the lighting is really good. You could tell that they made Dolly Parton uh, like the kind of the center of attention, which is totally fine. She's a freaking legend. I, I don't think anybody has a problem with that. Uh, I feel like everybody in Pentatonix are doing exactly what they need to do. They're not outshining her, but I feel like you're actually able to, you know, you know, still understand that they're very talented individuals, right? I feel like the harmony harmonizing is very freaking good. I also have to say this. I feel like Pentatonix, they're very good about letting the person who's on their freaking channel shine. A lot of other people don't do that. Like whenever they have a guest, they kind of try to outshine the guest and I, I don't know how I feel about that. I honestly just think it depends on the song. Like if it's their song, I feel like the person who wrote the song and you're singing along with them should be able to shine, not you, even though it's your channel. How do you guys feel about that, you guys? I feel like Pentatonix, they do a great job of that. And I feel like they're always super, I would say, like cognizant of like the person that is on their channel. Like I feel like Tori Kelly, when they had her on her channel, I feel like they really let her shine. And they also were able to see, 
Like, you were also able to see their talents as well, right? But I feel like they really let her shine a lot on their channel, right? But a lot of times people would try to, like, outshine her or, you know, try to make their group shine a little bit more. If that makes sense. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. But I feel like they do a great job. They're killing it, man. And I'm telling you, Dolly Parton, she's looking at her, she's like, okay, they're really good. <laughs> they're really good. She's like, wow. I mean, she's really vibing to them. And that really says a lot, man. I Honestly, like if there was a, like an artist that heard me sing that really enjoyed it, you guys, I think I would be gushing. I, I think, honestly, I that'd be the, one of the happiest days of my life, man. I'm telling you, man. Now, was this done live? I have to say, was I have to ask, like, if this was done live, this is crazy, honestly. Like, the fact that they were able to do this, like, I don't know, man. These guys are next level of talent because, I no, this can't be live, is it? Is this live? That's kind of crazy. Like, wow, 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 wow. Because I don't really notice any, like, issues like their voices sound literally the same <laughs> like you know whenever like you hear them sing like on like an actual like audio recording that's actually in the background and they're just lip singing the actual vocals and and i don't mean like this you guys i mean an actual music video where they're not singing it live where they're lip singing the vocals right i feel like to be honest with you you can't really tell the difference from when they're singing it live <laughs> it just sounds that good honestly let you tell me if you you can see her a difference <laughs> <laughs> she's such a character you guys honestly that's why i'm a huge fan of her because like i feel like she just seems like such a genuinely just nice person and that she just loves to sing um i appreciate i've actually seen that she did other collaborations with other artists i think that that's really cool i really honestly think that says a lot about her let me know what you think about this collaboration inside the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so hit that subscribe button but yeah you guys i'ma catch you in the next video peace <laughs>